Welcome to Tomahawk DIY everyone, I'm Mike. Today we're taking a look at this Dell Latitude notebook computer um, and we're going to be changing the hard drive. So I'll show you how to do it, it's not too difficult to do and uh, I'll walk you through step by step. Okay, so you got your computer, a few things you need to do before you really get started. First, you got to make sure your power is unplugged. So you get the power cord off. For hard drive replacement, you want to make sure your hard drive data is backed up. Backing up your hard drive is a, a good idea before you do any kind of work on your computer, so I highly recommend that. An external uh, hard drive is a great way to go. If you don't have one, I'll put a link to some on Amazon that are great to pick up. Those are affiliate links. This one, you've got to remove an SD card. Mine's already removed, but make sure if you've got a, an SD card in here or the little um, plastic filler that goes in, get that out. Once all your cables are disconnected, move over to the next step. For this step, you need to undo the screws. Now there are six screws here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I've got a screwdriver like this. It's gonna work just fine. I will say, I highly recommend getting a kit like this. I prefer working with um, something along these lines. I'll include a, an affiliate link on Amazon where you can pick this up. It's got a lot of parts, great for working on small electronics, cell phones, computers, things like that. Here we go, we're going to remove our screws. I use the lid of this to help keep track of my screws so I don't lose them. Now, as you work on your computer, I recommend uh, taking pictures as you go along. If you've got a digital camera or a cell phone, obviously. That can just be helpful so you remember how to put everything back. There's nothing worse than getting to the end and having a couple extra parts or screws and wondering what you left out and how much of a problem that's going to be. Okay, so with that, we should be able to remove this whole back case. I've got my little uh, pry, plastic pry piece that should be helpful here. So, you want to have your battery out before you're doing any work on your computer. Right? We unplugged it, this is the rest of the power. So, for replacing the RAM, replacing the hard drive, you got to get the battery out. Now, to remove your battery, there's some screws. Depending on the model of battery, you may have one or two screws in here. This one's got a couple screws right there. And I'm taking a picture of this with my cell phone as we go. Now on these screws, I'm going to look carefully to see if they're different from the six that I just removed. If they are different, obviously do not want to, don't want to mix them up. They look like they're the same. I also can tell the difference. These two original ones had some thread lock on them, the other six did not. So. Okay, here we go. We're going to pull this tab, just like that. Get our battery out. There we go. So, see how that came out right there? It slides, slides that direction. Pretty easy to take out. I will note this battery is a little bit flimsy. Um, you can kind of feel it move. Oh, I'm going to be really careful with that, that I don't bend it, set it down on a flat surface where it'll be nice and safe. Alright, so as I open this, I note it says, uh, observe precautions for handling electrostatic sensitive devices. So, ideally I should be wearing a static electricity guard around one of my wrists. I'll buy those on Amazon. I'm a little bit lazy, I'm just going to touch the metal. With my hand or my foot, make sure I don't have any shocks. Not be sitting on anything that's generating a lot of static electricity. So here's our new hard drive. Again, this was a warranty replacement from Dell, which uh, was great. I really appreciated that when my hard drive started acting up. So, for replacing the hard drive, first thing we need to do is disconnect this tab here. Pull up just like that. Can't get any easier than that. With the tab out, got some screws. 
total of three screws here. Again, I'll be careful I'm not uh, mixing matching screws. These ones are shorter, so I'm gonna keep those in a separate bit on the tray here. Okay, so we should be able to lift the whole hard drive out now. Just like that, it comes with a frame, like so. So I'm gonna set this to the side. Okay, so I'm gonna take my cable, pull this apart, just like so. Now I need to remove the screws to get this frame off the hard drive. Here's the second screw. Got two screws out. Again, these are shorter screws. I'm not even gonna put them in the tray because we're putting the new hard drive in right now. Okay, with that we can pull the hard drive out. There we go, we've just removed the hard drive. Taking my new hard drive, putting it back together, just the reverse of how we got it out. I'm not going to tighten these screws totally tight until after I get all four in. So just general practice, personal preference I suppose. Kind of making sure all my screws are lined up before I begin tightening things down. Just makes them all fit in, be sure you don't have something off or something bent. So now we're going to tighten those down. I'm not going to over tighten them, but certainly do want to have some pressure on it. I'm going to put my cable back on. Make sure you line the number of pins up correctly. Now I'll put this guy back in. Just like so. Got my three little screws here for the hard drive. Same principle. I'm going to get each one started, not tighten it all the way. And then with the three in, I'm going to tighten it back down. Okay. Those feel nice and secure. Put my cable back. is kind of out of the way. Got a side here that slides under. Watch your cords. Kind of clips back in place like so. We've got two screws. Be sure it's flush all the way around. You saw right here it's kind of stuck up on mine when I first put it in. That'll cause you problems. If you try to put the cover back on, I'm gonna put my screws back in. Put that one kind of loose. Gotten this one, tighten it down good and firm. Now tightening this one down all the way. Okay, and I'm ready to reconnect my cable. Checking for the alignment of all the pins. There we go. Okay, once it's aligned, down it goes. Okay, with that, I'm gonna check over my surface, make sure I haven't left any tools. More importantly, don't leave any extra screws lying around here. This is also a great time. You can take a can of, um, can of the spray. I don't have one with me, but you can spray through your fan and clean dust out here. I've got another video that actually shows cleaning dust out of, out of the fan assembly, which really will build up over time, and that just slows down your performance. So check out that video, I'll link to it. Okay, with this cleared out, we're ready to close it up. So, remember where your tabs are when this came off. We got some little, a few tabs here. I'm just looking around. I'm looking around, seeing where each of these tabs are. So I'm gonna put this back on, slide my tabs into place. tabs in place, put my screws in. I'm going to get them all um, put in loosely before I tighten them down. Alright, now I'll tighten them down, checking to be sure I'm sitting smooth all the way around. Okay, with that cover back on, I think we're done. The one thing I do want to point out, when you replace your hard drive, be really careful about what you do with it so you don't uh, get data or passwords or things into the hands of somebody that's unscrupulous. Because this was a warranty replacement, Dell wants it back. So I'm going to hook this up with a with a cable. I'll show you a picture of that. 
Gonna hook it up with a USB cable and then run some software to wipe the hard drive and clean it up. If I didn't have to send this back, I'll just take a drill actually and drill through it. Um, that's good enough for me. I'm not trying to hide anything. Um, some people would probably wipe the drive with software first and then drill through it or destroy it, hit it with a camera. I've got a video that'll show you how to do that. Check it out. Okay, so there you have it. We've changed out the hard drive. Uh, you saw how easy it was. I really hope that's helpful. Um, if it was helpful, if it saved some money, I'd certainly appreciate any tip you send my way, or you can click on the affiliate links uh, to Amazon or perhaps other website that uh, sends a small commission my way. That all goes towards supporting the mission of Tomahawk DIY, which helps people in some of Earth's most dire circumstances to build better lives. Learn more about that on the website. So leave a comment, let me know how your story was. Uh, like the video, share it with a friend that's having a problem with their, their uh, Dell computer. And uh, have a great day.